Our weekly polling of ESPN's Heisman voters hasn't revealed much drama lately with Cam Newton out in front. That has now changed. Voters are being asked to not only assess the on the field production, but off the field allegations. As for those reports of Cam Newton's past academic cheating, 80% of our voters say it does not factor into their vote. The same holds true for the investigation surrounding Cam Newton's recruitment out of junior college. Three quarters of Heisman voters told us it doesn't affect their Heisman ballot. But many who told us their vote is not currently affected also told us their vote is pending further information. We know the Heisman rules state that a player must be eligible. This morning, I grabbed one of my old Heisman ballots, and below the space to write in the name of the winner, it states, to the best of my knowledge, he conforms to the rules governing the vote. Well, the best of each voter's knowledge, that's now a gray area for debate. That brings us to Boise State's Kellen Moore. He took the biggest jump in the eyes of our voters. Moore actually received a first place vote this week. That breaks a month long stretch of Cam Newton's runaway support on top. Four games to play for Kellen Moore. He's on pace to have the all time highest passer rating. Still Cam is well out in front of our front runners. The Heisman 3-2-1 weighted system has Cam doubling up the next two in total points. It remains a three-man race with the two stalkers having to make up ground. Now, Oregon's while Michael James is coming off another multi-touchdown effort. He's averaging a national best 166 yards per game. In most years, he'd be drawing away. Instead, he's just part of the big three. And it makes us wonder, will this be a year when only three candidates are invited to New York? Our next tier is the group trying to get that trip to sit front row at Times Square. And Andrew Luck tops the list of movers. Stanford star, 25 total touchdowns. Oklahoma State's Justin Blackman, the nation's record-setting top receiver. Andy Dalton has steady play and TCU in the title hunt. And we round it out with those statistical freak quarterbacks. Our Heismanology must watch games. Obviously, Georgia at Auburn. Cam Newton facing the Bulldogs, who have a top 16 team in total defense. Kellen Moore will get lots of attention to. His next three games are all on Friday night primetime. This week at Idaho, Moore could have a big night. The Vandals are giving up 436 yards per game. With this week's Heismanology, I'm Joe Tessitore.